you doing? Pa making paper airplanes. Oh, making paper airplanes. How many have you made? About 12. Really? Could you line them all up for me so I could see them? Oh, where's your last one? It's the big copper one. What the hell? Does it even fly? Not very well. It was flying last night, wasn't it? Yeah. When it smacked me right in the head. Whoa. What? You're going to have to work on the design of that one. Yeah, I have to fly it in an upwardly direction. I have to get a, put a new cat door in because the blimmin' dogs broke the other one with their repeated smashing it with their paws. Crikey, so we put the lock thing on it so the dogs would stop smashing it. This blimmin' dog, whenever it gets cold, she just whack, whack. So we're going to bed and all we can hear is just doo 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 The bloody dog smashing the cat door with her paws. So we put the lock thing on and anyway, she broke it. Now we've got another cat door. It's a bigger cat door, so we're going to have to cut a bigger hole in the door to put the bigger cat door in. I thought I was going to have to use my chainsaw, but I remembered I've got a jigsaw. Hopefully I've got a blade for the jigsaw, otherwise chainsaw it is. Place that jigsaw bay like. Right, should we put it on? Yeah, I'm extending this. Do you reckon this goes on the inside or on the outside? <coughs> oh, where the hell does that go? That must go. Where was this jack? Did that come off that, did it? Yeah. Ah, bugger, broken it already before it's even in. It's, good. it's kind of tricky, I'm, I'm doing these cameras. I was trying to stuff it in from this side and from the other side and the bloody green thing popped off. <sighs> Sweet. Altitude, sickness in Peru. Take a rest that wasn't much fun. I think that's a good decision. Uh, altitude sickness is something that scientists don't even fully understand. I'm feeling okay right now. I can come back to you guys I've ever worked with, mentally and physically. And You're looking for screws, bro. Honey, look. Honey, look. Honey, look. <coughs> what are you doing, Jack? I'm trying to make this long stick with a hook so I can reach the banana past the fruit I want. It's on the vine way over there. Oh, is there a ripe one up in the tree? Yep. Over there somewhere. Jack spied a ripe banana passion fruit in the tree, so he's going to make a hickorangy passion fruit grabber. I'll share half with you. Right. What do we need first? Use this big long hook here to spear the banana passion fruit. That's a good idea. I'm just going to make another sharp end right here, so I can spear it with that end too. All right.
it's good to eat. Here you go. Yeah, cut it open with your knife, slice it. Here you go, Dad. Mate, here you have that half. Good? Mm-hmm. Mmm. Yum. Any more up there? Oh, there's a couple up there. I'm not quite ripe yet. Oh, yeah, that, this one's really ripe. Look at that one. Yeah. How are we going to get that? I don't think it sticks long enough. I climb up the tree. Climb up the tree? What? I don't, that's I too right skinny. All right, you go. Here, you, oh, give me the stick and you climb the tree. But you have to pass the stick up to me. Yeah, right on. Go. I use friction, too. You're still quite away from the passion fruit. You're going to have to somehow monkey it over to here. Go crack it. Shot, there's one. Well, I'm going to show you show the young shaver a trick I picked up in Panama that the locals use for getting this fruit called a guava. Well, it's not actually a, a round guava, it was a long seed pod that's got this really nice white stuff in. But they joined two sticks together and the top oh. stick was upside down, had you a hook in it and they the could reach down. it around and hook it down. So I'm going to show Jack yeah, how to make one of those. And he's dropped his stick. Oh. I thought you must have your drone there. Alright. <laughs> nah. How's it going? Pretty good Josh. Self? Yeah, pretty good. It's the next door neighbour, he's just come to make sure we're not up to mischief, which we usually are. Fair call. <laughs> Sweet, that's our hook. That's it, lift it up. Hook around there. You go. Shot. I don't need. I don't even need to split it with the knife. Good. Mm. Yep. Scored this tire on the beach yesterday. Five hours later. Where was the bike pump? On the fridge. She didn't even notice our new couch. Uh, Did you not notice the new couch? Uh, I reckon if we got a smaller tyre to fit inside the bigger tyre, it'd be super comfy. We used to, <laughs> when we were kids, we'd go roll down hills in these things. Do you want to have a crack, Jack? And then find a hill. It's a bit dodgy, actually. My cousin broke his arm. That's super dodgy. <laughs> <laughs> Kristen just asked if I could go down and see if Charlie's still playing at the park. dog got all excited because she saw me grab my knife so she thinks we're going hunting hey I'm gonna take poochie hunting you ready pooch you stay there Roy <laughs> now the dogs are blooming giving always giving me the stink eye come on pooch stay there dog come on pooch come on poochie Poochie, come on. Come on, Poochie. Come on, Pooch. Come on, Pooch. Come on, Poochie. Good girl. The BMX I bought the other day, 50 bucks. Someone stole my other one. It's poked. It needs a full rebuild. Headset bearings are all loose. Crank bearings are buggered. I'll rebuild her up. She'll be a mint bite when it's done. Away.
into it. Ah, for crying out loud, I've just stopped to check where I am on the GPS and Poochie has disappeared. I guess she's figured out that the gun's going to go bang soon and she's chicken shit, she's gone back to the bloody truck, hopefully. Because we're miles in, we're about two and a half k into the bush now, so... <whistles> bloody hell. Guess I just got to keep hunting. She's pre-taxing this bush, bush stalking, especially when it's real thick shit like this. <sighs> Bending under branches and trying to be quiet. And trying to find the needle in the haystack without a bloody dog. Thanks, Poochie. I've been walking around for a couple of hours now. I only spoke one deer, or a couple of deer, and crashed off through the bush. So hard to get close in this crap. Now that wind's picked up, it's swirling all over the place. Oh, I just had a just had a crack at another one. That, uh, it was standing broadside, but there was a bunch of crap in between me and a deer. I've only got my 223, so I was waiting, and I thought oh, I'll pull the camera out of my pocket. And as soon as I pulled the camera out, it must have seen my hand move because I don't have gloves on, and took off. <laughs> it was a classic. I spooked it, and then it crashed off and then stopped and then I walked around the corner and it was standing right there so I don't think I had ever seen a person before because it just stood there looking at me uh, I'm over it I was kind of hoping to get some footage of deer today too maybe sneak up on one or two that hadn't seen me and I had not so I'm just going to go home, I'm a bit knackered quite taxing walking around on the sick stuff having to bend over to crawl through shit all day but hopefully the dog's back at the truck because if she's not I don't know what I'll do I'll just leave a bloody jacket for it and hope that she comes back she should be back at the truck we'll see we'll see how smart she is